What up, what up, what up, good people? It's your boy BTG, aka Bust Them Guns, coming back at you with another tabletop review. Uh, this one here is a tabletop with a purpose. As you can see in the title, we're talking about the best weapon for ladies, elderly individuals, or new shooters. So we're talking about the Ruger Security 380 light rack. So that's what we're working with. Uh, let me say right off the bat, because we don't want to offend none of the ladies. Uh, when I say ladies, I know there's plenty of ladies out there in the two-way game that's doing their thing and handling weapons of all sorts. This obviously is not directed towards you. This is more towards new shooters, ladies that's getting into firearms. They want the benefit of being able to carry a semi-automatic, but may not have the hand strength uh, to manipulate the slides of a semi-automatic. Uh, and some of these micro compacts uh, have some pretty tight slides. So, you know, that's a reasonable issue. Uh, you got elderly people that don't have the hand strength they used to, but they want to be able to carry a semi automatic. You got the capacity, you got the magazine change. So, just the benefits that come along with having a semi automatic for a carry. So, for whatever reason, uh, everyone can't handle these micro compacts with the tight slides and in the nine millimeters with a pretty decent recall, some of them. I mean, they're getting better, but quite a few of them are pretty snappy. So this here is a 380, and it's actually the Ruger Security 380 light rack. And the light rack is just that. The slide on this bad boy is extremely light. It's got a lighting spring. See the weapon is clear. Nothing in the weapon. So this is a nice compact firearm, and it's ideal for someone just getting into firearms uh, they love the semi-automatic platform. That's the going thing. They don't want to be dealing with the revolver, uh, but those slides are just hard for them to handle. So the slide on this bad boy is really light, hence the name. So you've got good serrations, front and back, and it's also got the little ears on the back, so you've got something to grip, sticks out slightly. Let's see if you can see that. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it sticking out there. So we got little ears on the back on each side. So you got a little more to grab, to grab that slide. But even without that, it racks extremely easy. So this is a nice setup. And this is chambered in 380. One of the other issues that's always prominent for new shooters is the recall. Adjusting to that recall. A lot of trainers will start shooters out on a 22 to work them up to the recall. Uh, but a 380 is a decent place to start. You know, you don't have to go all the way down to a 22. 380 is a decent round. You can get self-defense ammo just like you can with anything else. So you can get decent ammo and it'll get the job done. You still got good capacity. You don't have the recoil of a nine millimeter, but you got something that's sufficient for self-defense. And it's a nice entry level caliber. So this here is an ideal pistol, in my opinion, for new shooters, for ladies, uh, and definitely for elders that's having tr trouble manipulating those slides. Uh, this comes 10 plus one, this is a double stack. So 10 plus one, you get the flush fit magazine. So you can rock it like that. Uh, it does come also with a 15 round. So you can have the 15 round in there and you also get the pinky plate. So you can swap out that flush fit Put the pinky extension on there and you can carry it like that. So it just really depends on the setup. So that gives you a place for the pinky. You still 10 plus one. Or if you flush fit, then you're like that. Uh, you see two of these here because I actually bought two. So I bought one for my wife to carry and I bought one to use to train my daughters. So I've got two, one is her carry. Hers I equipped with the laser. So you got the Viridian laser on there. Fits right on the trigger guard. So that's easy to manipulate. So that's a nice option there. And holster wise, uh, I got the soft holster because this is more for purse carry. So this you can slide in your purse. It protects the trigger. Uh, this is designed to be a sticky holster. Sticky, but I felt more stickier. So you can use it as a pocket holster. But in my opinion, 
it's not really sticky enough to be a pocket holster because when you grab it, you can easily pull the, pistol, the holster right out with it. So if you're gonna use it for a pocket carry, then I would suggest upgrading the holster to something a little more stickier so it's not coming out with the weapon. But this is a nice setup, nice firearm. Uh, you got the trigger protection with this. This is ideal for ladies. It has an external safety. So if you want an external safety, you have it. You don't have to use that. You also have a trigger safety on there. You got the trigger lever there. Sight wise, decent sights. You got fiber optic sight up front. Uh, I like the lightning cuts. It's actually a stylish little firearm. If you look at that, decent size to it. Not too small, uh, but not too heavy. Uh, weight on this empty is around 19 ounces. So not too bad. This barrel is 3.42 inches. And the overall length, you're talking about six inches, six and a half inches overall. And then thickness, it's about an inch wide. So this is not optic ready. So you got the fiber optic up front. You do have metal adjustable sight in the rear. And that is blacked out on the rear. That is the U shape there, you can see that. And then you've got your fiber optic. So the sight picture is actually pretty decent on this. So I set this one up for my wife with the laser. This one I've got set up to train with. And for training, I go no laser. So train on the iron sights because I think any new shooter should be sufficient with the iron sights. So you're gonna learn that way. Once you get that, then you get the crutch of the laser. So that's my approach. This is the 15 round magazine. So that's how it looks with the 15. So this is double stack and that's plenty enough. So these are ideal. You can pick these up under 400. So reasonably priced for what you get. And these are nice firearms. Trigger is not bad. I mean, it's a carry pistol, so you're not looking for a competition trigger. So you've got some take up there. It's not crazy, but obviously it's not great, but you're on the wall. Break. Reset. And back on there. So Treason's Digger, uh, decent. Uh, I think it will get a little better as you shoot it. This is an internal hammer fire weapon as the Ruger security lineup is. So this is a decent weapon. Ruger, in my opinion, Ruger makes nice firearms, tried and true. Uh, this security line has been around. The Security 9 has been out there. It's still selling on the market. The Security 380 uh, is a pretty decent weapon in my opinion. 10 plus one with the flush, 15 plus one with the extended. And this is set up here. This is a DeSantis holster. So if you did want to carry on the waist, you could do the DeSantis holster, single loop. Got the side pocket there, side saddle for an additional round. And you can switch that any way you want. You can get another 15 round and carry with 15 in, another 15 on the side, whichever way you want to do it. But this is a nice soft holster. Like I say, DeSantis. Uh, if you want to put a laser on here, you could just open that stitch up and uh, you've got enough room for the laser. Like it is now, I don't feel it's secured enough. It's not down in there far enough. So I would open that stitch up so that it can go down further and it should fit just like that, which is secure enough. So as far as what you get with the package, you get the two magazines. So you get the 10 plus one, and then you get the 15. Obviously you get your manuals, you get the trigger lock. They do give you a mag loader, and then you've got the flush base plate. So you can either run the flush or you run the one with the, uh, with the extended pinky. But this, I think, is an economic option. I think it's great for the ladies. It's great for new shooters. It's great for seniors uh, to get you in the game. You still get the benefit of semi-automatic. You get the benefit of that capacity, having to reload, being able to reload quickly if need be. But you've got a firearm that you can manipulate easy. So that slide is not intimidating at all. Uh, that 380 round is a real nice starting point. Uh, you get comfortable with that, then you can go in any direction. You can go up, you can go down. Uh, nine millimeter will be an easy transition if you start with that 380. 
And this Viridian laser here is a nice option for this package here for home defense. Ladies, this will fit right in a purse, in a pocket, nice discreet, not take up too much space. So in my opinion, this is an ideal setup for new shooters. I know they've got the Smith & Wesson out there, the Easy. That's a 380. Uh, I think that's a little bit larger than this, and I think most of those are single stack. They may have a double stack now, but most of the ones I've seen are double or single stack. So this is giving you the capacity, a little more compact of a package, and I think it's an ideal start. So if you're in the market, you're getting into shooting, stop by one of the stores, take a look at this, manipulate that slide. You'll be real comfortable with it. I was shocked to see how light it was, and that's why I went this route. So ideal place to start. Just wanted to share that. Uh, it's your boy BTG, AK Bust Them Guns, dropping one for the ladies, the seniors, and just new shooters in general, young shooters. Uh, get them into the two-way game uh, without being intimidated. So that's it for now. Holla.